Hello, everyone. Uh, today is, I don't even know, uh, September 19th, 2023. This is the Jones Library Buildings and Facilities meeting. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I need to make sure that everyone can uh, hear and be heard. So, George? Yep. Sarah? Yep. And Sharon? Yes. Okay. And Alex Lachey. So, um, we have a quorum. So, I'm going to call the meeting to order at four o'clock and pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021. Uh, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to the Zoom meeting that can be found on the calendar, both on the town website, but also on the Jones Library website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the post agenda by raising their virtual hand. Um, this meeting is being recorded and it will be posted to the Jones Library website. So uh, thank you everyone. I see we have two attendees in the audience at the moment. Uh, so with that, let's get started. So the first item of business is the motion to approve the minutes. Does anyone wanna make that motion? I'll make the motion to approve. I second. Lovely. Uh, any comments, question, discussion on the meeting minutes of August 23rd? No? Okay, hearing none. Um, George, uh, do you approve the meeting minutes? Yes. Farah? Yes. And Alex votes yes as well. So that's three. Um, next item on the agenda is public comment. Um, like I said, we have two people. Uh, in attendance. Um, if either one of you would like to make a public comment, you can signify by raising your virtual hand. And seeing none, I will move on. Um, so the next item is the North Amherst Library um, project update. So I don't know, Sharon, George, which of you is giving that? Or delivery van? Um, or delivery van because sorry i'm really tired i've been, <laughs> I've been <laughs> the end of a work day and i'm exhausted so you all are just gonna have to like i miss things thank you uh i don't have any update as to the status of the van we do know it's supposed to be built this month uh but of course the the auto workers union are threatening to strike so we'll see how far along it gets on that treadmill before that happens uh and i've also been working with uh the the electrical contractor that that we typically use to uh determine where we're going to put the charging station uh because it could be a very temporary installation so uh we've been working on that just so we could be as ready as possible for when the van does finally come in uh and i'm drafting an email to the town just to make sure that we have all of our T's crossed and our I's dotted because uh, technically it's a town-owned vehicle. So I just have to make sure that we go through the right processes with plate transfers and insurance and all that other stuff. So that's what I'm working on right now. That's probably a really stupid question, but George, can a charging station be moved around? I mean, like once they're set, are they just there's no such thing as a stupid question um it can uh it would just have to be rewired to wherever it oh. got moved to um you know we're going to actually be putting it uh if you're familiar with the driveway there's a little gated area mm -hmm. for one of the uh set of carriage house doors and that's closest to an existing electrical panel that can handle the uh the draw needs so we're going to be putting it in there for now um and the van will charge quickly so we won't have to clog up the driveway to charge it uh but wherever we go or wherever the van charger will need to be it will be a simple matter of just having an electrician coming and moving it yeah Anything else on the van? That's it. Okay. Now the North Amherst Library project. So um, the the change to the last time we met is that um, 
uh, the mill district has another tenant coming in. So uh, they asked that we leave. Uh, so we will be doing that. Um, the, the 27th will be our last open day in the mill district. And then on Thursday, the 28th staff, we're going to pack. We're going to put everything in boxes. Uh, and the DPW will move everything on the 29th, the books and the furniture. That's kind of what's going to be the beast and we'll move it into the library space. And then, and then the librarians will be able to take their time sorting and, and, and deciding where things go. We're still waiting for um, those two uh, circulation desks and that's all I can think of. I think the, the parking lot has been paved and I think the garage has come down and I, there was some, roof work that need to, needed to be fixed but i i think they're in good shape i haven't heard about uh, uh, this the scheduling of a grand opening celebration um i think that's everything that i know right now yeah um i'll just add that i did take a tour of the building with the branch librarian head um and i mean it's the the addition they put on is beautiful. The the meeting space uh, is, is gorgeous, and it's it's interesting to see you know fully accessible bathrooms in there, and the the color palette choices and everything is really nice. Um, obviously, we did lose some shelving as a result of this because they had to make that entrance into the original part of the library, and we had to make the space more ADA compliant. So. Uh, they're working on doing a little bit more weeding at the temporary space just to uh, make sure there's room for everything that we're bringing back. So that's all I've got. Great. Um, okay. Um, and then I think at our last meeting, Sharon, um, we talked about the memorandum of understanding with the town on the branches and that was on the cusp of being finalized and signed it was signed and finalized yes okay. and i think that was distributed to everyone i think moving track yep. point okay, okay um great uh so the monthly or sorry did you have any questions on the north amherst library right? no. okay um so uh monthly building and grounds report I don't think I have anything new to add, Sharon, do you? No, it's been one heck of a summer with the air conditioning. I don't I don't think the air conditioning worked fully at all this summer. No. Um and I I think we're just all crossing our fingers when we switch over to heat that the roof just doesn't get <laughs> on us. I mean, I will say I will say, you know, in general uh heating season is a little bit less taxing than air conditioning season uh there's less equipment involved um you're not dealing with as much humidity and stuff like that so it's a it's a little bit less taxing and the fact that we had them do that exploratory on the remaining three boilers and they all appear to be good on the inside i'm i'm optimistic that knock on wood that it will be a uh a relatively seamless transition, which will be happening in a couple of weeks, actually, now that we have finally got fall New England weather. <laughs> and the only other thing that I will add is that uh, uh, I haven't nailed down the date yet, but the tent will be coming down at some point, probably late October, uh, depending on weather or anything like that. And uh, when we take it down this time, will we be taking the frame down as well? Because uh, it was certainly made aware that we would not get approval to have the permit to be able to have the tent next year if we needed the tent on that space. Uh, so we'll be taking the frame down as well this fall. So I'm, I'm sorry, you said it was made clear that we would not get approval for it? Correct, correct. Uh, when I when I went when I went to the to get the permit approved to have the tent uh, this summer, um, yeah, they 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 were very clear that it couldn't be an ongoing thing, uh, that it was the tent was originally installed because of COVID, um, and that 
you know, the, the, we're, we're three years in now and uh, the, whatever the, whatever that state memorandum was, is gone. So uh, they can't justify approving having the tent in the front yard for another year. Okay. Okay. Uh, George, who approves? Is it the town? Is it the It's state? the town. Yeah, it's the town. So what if COVID gets worse or we have, I mean, what if next summer is terrible? Well, we'd have to, there's a lot of unknowns there. Right. Um, you know, it, we don't even know if we're going to be on that site in the spring or not. Um, uh, I guess we will have to play it by ear. I mean, if something, heaven forbid, if something drastic happens and COVID comes back full force and we're back to social distancing, maybe the state will bring something back, but right. um, we're not going to give up the tent yet. I mean, it was purchased with town funds, so eventually uh, it would be up to the town as to what happens to that tent once it's fully down, but uh, we won't give up possession of it quite yet okay. until Thanks. we have to. And I assume perhaps wrongly that if things did go in a way where we thought we needed the tent, we could just go before town again and right. apply again. I mean, right. just exactly. because they told us no doesn't mean circumstances can't. Change. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, the extensions have all run their course and everything. It would just be a new application. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, Barbara, did you have anything else you wanted to ask? So when we met um, in August, um, there was an HVAC control module that died. And mm -hmm. I know that we were looking for a replacement. Um, and then I know also that we were um, looking at costs of repairs and deciding whether or not it would hit the threshold for JCPC. So I guess I just wanted to follow up on those and see where we are on those. Or if yeah, we happened. haven't gotten, <laughs> we, we haven't gotten pricing for a replacement as of yet. Um, you know, rather the unit is, is working on manual mode right now, which means it's going all the time versus on automatic. Uh, and it is functioning that way. It's, it's certainly not optimal, but uh, but we have not gotten pricing yet for that repair slash replacement. Be because it's not available or why? Well, yeah, it's something that would have to be spec'd out and built um, and they're, they're just still working on it. Okay, so the the contractor, whomever we work with, has the request, and we're it's it's with Correct. them. Okay, Correct. and have they given us any sense for when we might expect, like a week, a week or a month, or do we have any sense of it? Or I would like to think we'll see it within the month. You know, they were dealing with some staffing issues. Uh, okay. So so yeah, I would like to think we'd see it within a month. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks. Um, so the next bit, if there's not anything else, is the backup building project planning. I'm going to let George, I included in the packet, um, the updated uh, capital repairs list. And I didn't know if, George, can you tell us what you have rearranged, changed? Yeah, I... I made very, very minor changes. Uh, the top four were HVAC and fire system related. And what I did was two of them were HVAC related, two of them were fire related. And I combined each of those. So instead of four pieces, there's now two pieces because realistically we can't change HVAC equipment without changing the controls. And the same with the fire system. If we change the fire panel or the sprinklers, we have to change the others. So they they really couldn't be done independently. So I put them together and I rotated HVAC and fire system. And, and you know, I, I, I sent it off with the caveat that it's very hard to prioritize one of those over the other. They're they're both they're both neck and neck as far as how critical they are. Um, it, it's a very tough thing to prioritize one over the other, but I put the HVAC as first. And those are the and only we, changes I made. When you said you sent it off to-, to... Um, I sent it to Sharon. Oh, okay. And so and it's in we... the packet. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So is that something that the the 
uh, Jeremiah and the folks that we're working with town have that? We need to send that to them. Did you need us to say, great, send that to them? Or where, like, what's the, I know I asked for that last time. So I guess the question is, yeah, is so I, th and, yeah I think the plan was, so here it is for you all. And if you all are good with it, then the next step would be, I would send it to Jeremiah and uh, whoever else remains over there. Did you have any questions? No. Um, I, I had one question um, on the HVAC repair. So I know the old language said, um, talked about retaining gas service, but I think we have a directive now that even if we, so that wouldn't be the case, right? Because, or would that be the case? Um, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Do, does the directive say, we wouldn't be able to use fossil fuels. So I thought if you were replacing a system, but I could be wrong. So maybe we could just double check that um, and see whether or not, because I had thought initially that that didn't apply to us, but we had wanted to explore it anyway um, for the conversations that we had with the trustees. Um, but then I thought I had seen something that came down that made it seem like it was now applying to us. E either way, we have a directive from the from the trustees in the motion that was passed that we would want to explore options other than gas. So I guess clarify, if we can keep gas, then we certainly want to explore an option for the trustees. And if we can't, then obviously update it to whatever the language is. And I, and I think even though, you know, <laughs> Every every month that goes by, the 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 quotes that we had attained are are less and less relevant. But I think it's important to, if if we do that, it's important to note that those original quotes were based on a gas furnace replacement. Because I anything else I believe would be more money, because you're changing the type of, you know, how 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 it's fueled, I guess. It would be fun to do that uh, quote again to get that estimate, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> no. no, no, I know I'm being sarcastic, but the number would be much larger. Yeah. So Sharon, what is the number right now? What is the ballpark? Or do we? Uh, we don't have, you mean, yeah, we don't have an updated oh. one. You That's know. one of the things that, the the committee on the town side is being tasked with doing really yeah yeah i mean there's a cost associated with getting that and that's what so i guess that was going to be my next question was i know that the backup building project planning last i heard still resides with town manager town council so again just verifying have there been any changes since August? Is there anything we need to be providing? Is there anything we need to be doing? Or it still rest with town council and town manager and that group over it's with there? Paul, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I don't think there are any matters uh, for which I did not anticipate. Um, is there anything else that uh, you have? The so one thing that I could else? say is the library, the Jones building will be closed on the 15th and the 16th for um, abatement. Okay. Exploratory demolition. And will that, so we in the, um, in the package that was designed originally that we submitted to the MBLC, there was sort of initial estimates in terms of abatement and things or and I think, yeah, so this will help us update those numbers. Uh, yes, it's to, with, yes, it's to help um, the architects. See what's really in there instead of what we suspect is in there. <laughs> right, right. This yeah. is, this is them, you know, there, there's certain things that they just, it needs to be tangible, tangible for them. And uh, they need to do their due diligence and explore and make sure that nothing is there that's not supposed to be there and that there aren't any surprises. Um, so that that's really what this is is all exploration yep okay 
Great. Well, it's nice to hear that we don't have anything new happening on the building. It's fabulous to hear that the North Amherst Library is moving one step closer. It's the same story on the van. It'll come when it comes. And um, yeah, I mean, as far as the backup building project planning goes, you know, I, I'm not sure what else we can do um, since it was a request made by town and it's in town's court. So um, we'll just continue to monitor and follow up with town and provide whatever they need. And um, great. Okay. Yeah. With that, I'm not going to make a meeting last longer than it needs to. So I'm going to call the meeting to adjournment at 420. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.